Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, keeping tabs on the developments in the fintech space. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Gary Roloff, Co-Founder and Managing Director at Layby, a New Zealand-based buy now, pay later service which launched in the UK earlier this year. Gary, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me along. So can you tell me a little bit about Layby's service sure. uh, and, and what you do with it? Sure. So in, in essence, Layby offers consumers the ability to buy now and have that purchase today mm -hmm. and pay us back interest-free over six weeks. So there is never any interest charged by Layby and the consumer has their product on the day of purchase. In simple terms, they pay us one-sixth of the purchase price today and one-sixth every week for the next five weeks. Okay. It's automated and they don't have to worry about we send them reminders pre every purchase to say, oh, there's a payment due tomorrow. Okay. And so how does your business model work? You say that the, it's the uh, consumers that are getting charged, is that correct? No. No, there's never a charge to the consumer. Okay. Our model works where we make a small commission from the retailer. Oh, right. Yeah. So from a consumer perspective, there's no cost at all, unless they don't pay. Mm. There is a late payment fee that we charge, but they are reminded of that pre and post the charging of that fee. So there's a lot of competitors in this space, let's say Klarna. How do you differentiate yourself against them? Look, I think, Joy, the key differentiator is we never charge interest. Mm. So even when a customer misses a payment with lay-by, the account's suspended so they can't get into more debt. We avoid that debt spiral and there's no compound interest element because there is never interest charged with lay-by. So I think that's a key differentiator. The other one, which is one that we have put into our platform from day one is that we use a third party credit scoring and affordability check agency. In New Zealand that's called Centrix, in the rest of the world that's called Experian. So we're fully integrated into Experian and we do, do a, leave a hard credit footprint on that credit check because we're required to by law where we are a member of what they call keys which means that we're accessing every other lender's information in arriving at our affordability and credit check score, and we're also providing other lenders with our information. So it's all about, for us, being very transparent with our consumers and being responsible. Mm. The responsible lending thing's a very big deal to me because I have two boys who are 22 and 26, respectively, and I wouldn't want them entering into a transaction that puts them in an irresponsible borrowing position. Mm. So okay. that's why we do it. Okay. Uh, and I know you signed some pretty high-end retailers mm. like Alexa Chung mm. um, and also Foot Asylum. Mm. You know, what do the retailers get out of this? Well, what we're seeing, we've got circa 5,500, 6,000 merchants in Australasia. Mm -hmm. And what these merchants are seeing with this sort of product is their customers are able to add a little extra to the basket. So the average order value in purchases via lay-by is normally up around 25 to 30% on a more traditional payment mm. platform. So. Cool. Mm. Uh, and my last question, mm. uh, and you alluded to it a little bit there, which is sort of uh, expansion. Yes. And I know you expanded into the UK earlier this year. Yes. Um, so what were the reasons behind that, and do you have future plans for more expansion? Yeah, sure. Look, when we started our business, we're two years old, by the way, so when we started our business, our dream was, we come from New Zealand, New Zealand's a village, let's try and create a ubiquitous global brand. So we wanted to dominate New Zealand first, which we have done. We wanted to demonstrate the portability by taking our New Zealand customers across the Tasman with us, which mm -hmm. we've done. And very rapidly we wanted to come up to the UK because no one else does what we do here. <laughs> you know, um, the competitor product that you mentioned earlier is demonstrably different mm -hmm. to what we offer. And um, we feel that the UK is, is a sophisticated online market and one that will embrace this sort of product very rapidly. So that's why we're here. Uh, and then further expansion plans? Oh, look, um, we will be enabled via our credit scoring capability across Europe and the US before the end of this year. Excellent. Hmm. Thank you so much for your insights, Gary. Thanks for your time.